In this video, we're going to be talking about how to build muscle and build an aesthetic body if you are a skinny guy or a person with a fast metabolism. Thus, I'm going to talk about nutrition, workout routine, motivation, struggles, and many other pinpoints. So stick with me until the end of this video to learn all of those. Over the last years, I struggled to put on any type of muscle mass and build an aesthetic body. The reasons were pretty simple. I would be on a vacation, I would be working, I would be having many, many other things. Maybe sometimes traveling for weeks and weeks and then you just like come back, all of your progress is lost and you have to start everything everything from scratch. From what I can remember, since I was 18, I was around 64, 65 kilograms all the time and I would start my progress, bulk up until 70, lose it all again, bulk up until 72 or 71, lose it all again, start from 62, 63 and you know, just ping-ponging your way up and down all the time and never seeing an actual progress. It would go on like this until I hit the rock bottom. I was traveling for a couple of weeks and then I came back, stepped on the scale and I was around 62 kilograms and it was really, really kind of like the low point where I I didn't feel good about myself. I didn't feel strong. I didn't feel in a way competent or suitable for many things that I was doing. For example, I would play football and I would feel less physical and less confident in myself to kind of go physical or tackle people if I needed to. So you can't really be physical when you don't have any type of muscle mass on your body. Not only that, but you also don't look your best. All the clothes that you used to wear before are kind of baggy now and it just doesn't look good. One year ago, I said enough is enough. I started lifting again. I started going to the gym doing home workouts, following my diet. Now, fast forward a year, I am around 76-ish kilograms. That means I am around 14 kilograms more than last year, and it's a pretty lean weight. This might not sound like a huge progress to some of you. I might not look like a bodybuilder, but it is a pretty decent progress and a good result. What I am trying to say is change is slow progress is slow. It doesn't take overnight for you to build your best body. It doesn't take overnight to lose all of your fat and slim down. But slow also means reliable. If you are a skinny guy with fast metabolism, of course you can gain a lot of kilograms just by dirty bulking, eating fast food and McDonald's and just trying to bulk up as much as you can. But at the same time, do you really want to pack on as much fat as possible or do you want to have lean muscle mass? Do you want to be aesthetically good looking or just big, fat and bulky? The choice is yours ultimately. I choose to go in a more steady, slow pace so that all of the things that I do now can kind of compound and build a better physique in the future. I understand that progress is going to be slow. I'm not going to see all of the results now or tomorrow or after one week. But hey, I do understand that in a few months, you're going to be in a much better place than you are right now. By this point, you might be wondering, hey, how did you do this? What type of workout routine did you follow? Or any type of nutrition plans that you can recommend? Obviously, I'm not going to keep you hanging. Let's talk about the workouts. For the workouts, you shouldn't overcomplicate it. Me personally, I started doing home workouts for a couple of months to build that base muscle mass and to feel better about myself. And then I started going to the gym. So my workout routine was pretty simple. I had some dumbbells at home and I would use them for almost all the exercises. Number one, Bulgarian split squats. This is probably the most difficult exercise that you can do to build your legs, to build your body overall. The reason I would recommend Bulgarian split squats is that obviously you can do squats, you can do deadlifts, you can do maybe leg presses, whatever you want to do but Bulgarian split squats is an exercise which not only builds muscle but it also stabilizes your body or builds stabilization if I may so when you're doing Bulgarian split squats you only use one leg at a time and some muscles which are responsible for stabilization are also going to be involved there now you might say hey but don't you want to only focus on hypertrophy and building muscle and not on stabilizing your body and yes you might be right if you're just solely focusing on building and packing as much muscle opt for squats opt for other things but I find it interesting and exciting to do Bulgarian and split squats because it's so physically enduring, physically really difficult exercise. So it also builds your mentality, your toughness, your motivation to work out, and of course it builds an aesthetic body as a result. Number two, push-ups. Classic exercise, nothing complicated here. I would usually do push-ups with a wider stance and I would progress almost weekly or monthly in my strength. The important thing here is to not to go with the momentum and work against the gravity. So on your way down when you're doing push-ups, try to work against the gravity, go slowly and control your muscles. And when you're going up instead of going with the momentum try to always go up slowly using your muscles and using mind muscle connection obviously you can do bench press or dips or dumbbell presses but the simple thing is they require equipment push-ups don't you only need your body weight number three 
deadlifts. This should be a staple exercise in your program. Now, the most important thing here to mention is that I never do heavy deadlifts. I never try to out PR myself every time I go to the gym. I do deadlifts strictly for one reason and one reason only, and that's to strengthen my back and strengthen my posterior chain. Obviously, you can do deadlifts for hypertrophy and building size, but I find it difficult to concentrate on deadlifts when you don't know the technique and when you don't know the proper way and the proper form. So as a result, you might get yourself injured and that's definitely not worth the risk. Do deadlifts with light weights. Start with two or five kilos on both sides and try to kind of master the technique and the form. Once you're done with that, try to progressively overload your lifts and lift heavier from time to time. In a nutshell, swallow your ego and deadlift light weights. Number four, rows. This one is pretty self-explanatory. If I had to choose one back exercise, it would be either pull-ups or rows, but rows are kind of more beginner friendly and they do not really require any type of equipment. You just need your dumbbell to row and lift from the ground up. Now, those are all the exercises that I'm going to mention in this video simply because they are beginner friendly. They are compound exercises. We're not focusing too much on isolation like abs or biceps or traps or nothing like that. We are simply focusing on the things which will build you muscle overall to your body. And then you can slowly start carving all the muscles out one by one and building the best aesthetic body. But at the beginning, you want to build the base. You want to build the fundamental muscles. And I think that the exercises that I mentioned are ideal for that. Now, those are home exercises. But what do you do when you go to the gym? I would suggest you follow a full body or upper body, lower body split workout program because they're proven to be the best for hypertrophy and building size. Next up, nutrition. Now, with my fast metabolism, it's pretty obvious that I need to consume a lot of calories eat a lot of food and consume more food than I burn on a daily. The issue was that when I was around 62 kilograms, when you're a skinny dude, you don't really have a big appetite. I'm pretty sure many of you can relate to this. You have fast metabolism, a small appetite. You don't really want to consume a lot of food and shovel shit down your throat. So what happens is sometimes you end up skipping your meals. Sometimes you end up forgetting about them and hoping for the best that, okay, I hope that I consumed enough calories today. Now, hoping could work, but instead of that, why don't you take control of your nutrition and stay on top of things? What happens is when you start lifting weights more when you start becoming a more athletic person your body starts requiring more and more food and your appetite opens up by itself i used to have a very small appetite i wouldn't finish my meals but now i have an appetite of a horse what i'm trying to say is the more you train and the more you have this expenditure of energy the more your body requires nutrients the more your body requires protein and carbs and fats and you really need to nourish your body and give all the nutrients in order to build some size and build muscle i also just eating four to five times a day maybe throw a gainer shake in there just to get some extra calories Each your protein, eat your carbs, eat your healthy fats, get in a habit of eating four to five times a day. If you're not gaining weight, that means you're simply not eating enough. You're not eating enough calories for your body to have some extra storage of energy to divert into building muscle. If you're interested in a specific workout plan or a diet plan, I would suggest you go to the first link in the description. I will leave my free ebook there. You can download it, use my suggested workout plan, my nutrition ideas or meal ideas and start seeing results. Now, obviously nutrition and workout is important if you want to pack on size and build an aesthetic body. But what is even more important is the mindset or your motivation. What I mean is sometimes you just have to understand that things are gonna take time. You're not gonna magically gain a few kilograms of lean muscle mess in one month. It's gonna take some time. You gotta be patient and not be discouraged by any type of plateaus you might be having. Besides that, it's also important or it's also better to focus on the basics and get 80 to 90% of the results instead of focusing on the small things. For example, when is it better to work out? Is it in the morning or in the evening? Should I take pre-workouts? Should I take gainer shakes? Should I stop watching adult content? Should I do this? Should I do that? Like none of those things matter if you're not focusing on the basics. If you just do the basics, which is compound movements, progressive overload, do the exercise which are old school like bench press, free weights, pull-ups, squats, deadlifts. Don't be focusing on these strange isolation exercises. Follow your diet, eat more calories than you burn. If you just follow this and stay consistent, you're gonna see results. Understand that building muscle is even more difficult than losing weight and losing fat because it takes more time. Thus, you have to stay patient and stay consistent. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in the next one.